Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I wasn't going to stream today. Uh, today was going to be a day that I was just going to take off and do some other stuff, get ready for some videos and stuff like that. But, uh, well, I have officially doubled the efficiency of the grind. Y'all may be familiar with how we were killing about 30 or so uh, moose per hour, right? Between 30 and 35. Well, what if I told you I doubled that? I'm able to kill about 60 maybe even 70 moose every hour now just by redesigning my complete layout of all my tents and changing the zones that I'm hunting I got to thinking like why am I sticking with the same zones that we were using while we were doing herd management they are not necessarily optimal for a shoot everything playstyle so now that we're doing the shoot everything playstyle I decided to move everything and well we got a lot of claiming tents in areas now because well, it, we're just hunting better zones in general now. So, let's get into it because this is, uh, it, it's pretty crazy. I'm honestly pretty blown away that I've been able to double our efficiency from yesterday. We're going to see exactly like, uh, we're going to do some like a calculation to see exactly how quickly we can do it. We are uh, definitely a lot quicker than we were before. That is for sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to see right now it is time to change the time. That's what it is. We're going to do that real quick. Um, I'm not sure about the uh, Bethidi Ibex grind uh, ghost. I have not hunted them in a very long time. So I wouldn't really be able to speak on to how good that is for efficiency. It's, it's all species dependent. That's really what it comes down to is each individual species. So it is about 7.09, so we will try to take down one of these real quickly. And I want to time to see exactly how many we're able to kill per 10 minutes. That looked like a pretty solid hit into that guy. Let's try to get this one to move if we can. Not sure if he's going to uh, play ball. Bobby, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Should you try and get a rare quail for your troll super rare moose? Do it, Bobby. You might as well. You might as well try for it, man. At this point, you might as well. Well, it'll die. Real quickly, though, I will show you guys what it was looking like before. I jumped on stream here. You can see between 1834, which would be 634 p.m., and 650 that's 20 moose 20 moose in 16 minutes which is pretty crazy honestly and that's not counting the like two or three during that time frame that I didn't claim because they ran too far oh yeah there's a ton of zones for try they can be at literally every body of water on all of Medved it's kind of crazy that's a big boy right there that's a real good looking moose Definitely got the vitals. Did I hit the female? I actually don't know if I hit the female. I don't think I did. Uh, just in case that we're going to back out. Because if I hit that female and she dies, that zone gets deleted. We got to make sure that she does not uh, delete that zone. We have not shot a great one yet, baseball clips. I just surpassed 2,000 since our last great one, Moose. Pretty crazy that it's been that long. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to start the count over, I think. That was a pretty bad start. Have I played grounded? I have not. Is it uh is it on PC? I think I think I had heard that it was an Xbox game, right? Alright, so we will start our time now at 7 11 p.m. Drop that guy right there. Now we're gonna have to do a quick little time reset. 2K Diamond Moose. No, that's diamonds in total, uh, Kester. Diamonds in total across my entire time playing this game across every species. Not on just Moose. If I had 2,000 Diamond Moose, that'd be ridiculous.
Get this moose's attention. Try to get it to face me. That is the easiest shots to take. And as I say that, we whiff the heart shot. But it'll still go down relatively quick. Let's see what we got going on over here. So let's try to get these two. In fact, I can probably just take that frontal shot on this guy. Kind of frontal, at least. Definitely two hits, but not a hard shot. That guy is now attentive. We need to try and get him alerted. Why are only some of your moose zones respawning? Because that's how moose are, Kellen. A lot of them are solo, so they don't return to the same spot twice, usually. Rest in pieces. No hard shot on that guy either. That's a lot of great one rocks, Bubba. That is a lot of them. Holy great one rocks, dude. Craziness. What time is it here? It's currently 7.13 p.m. I should have known, Drawn. I should have known. All those great one trees, man. What did I do? I have officially, like, doubled the speed at which we can kill moose. Oh, and also, I have a rare moose on the map that we will be shooting later. It is a little albino that I got to spawn last night. And so I decided to uh, save it for you guys. We're going to be taking it out on the stream. Whenever I get those rares to spawn, I try to save them for when I'm live so you guys can see us taking them down. That was lovely. Gotta love it. We're gonna keep on moving. The it's going great. We're starting out fantastically. Crashing into everything. See if our dog can help find this one. I know it ran off in this direction. Come on, Hunter. Show us the way. There it is. There's our moose. Hey, Jake, how's it going, dude? Appreciate you being here, my dude. About to get a great one? Hopefully, man. Hopefully. How many kills am I on? Currently just over 2,000 since our last uh, great one moose. It has been a little bit since the last one, that's for sure. There's some of the blood there. Should be at least one. Yeah, there it is. A one there. Now, where did the others go? Possibly over in this direction. Yeah, there we go. Gosh, I hate Medved's trees. Kind of ridiculous how close together they are. There we go, though. What well, rares on the map? We've got a little albino on the map. So in four minutes, we got four kills so far. So we're not off to as good of a start as I was before starting the stream, but that is that's how things usually go, as we all know. Definitely still doing a lot better than we had been, which is really all that matters in the end. Let's see if we can get these guys to face us. Oh, it would not shoot, and I think I hit the leg. Oh, brain shot. Let's go. That was kind of wild. Uh, Bobby, thank you for the super chat. Again, dude, really appreciate it. Want me to get a rare goose for the uh, troll euro? Might as well, dude. You might as well. 
Thank you once again, Bobby. Yeah, at our current rate, we're getting about a moose a minute. Getting about one moose per minute. Once it gets to 721, that'll be when the 10 minutes is up, and we'll see exactly how many we killed in that time frame. Okay, nice. I don't even have to do a time reset. They're actually at their zone for once. Ooh, smoked him. Yeah, that guy's going down quick. He's already down, actually. Nice, Eli, that's awesome. Albino Seeker Deer look amazing. Love those things. Absolutely love them. That'll be seven. And number eight will be over there. So unlucky you have 4,100 whitetail kills, no great one. It happens, man. Uh, my longest whitetail grind was about 4,000. Somewhere in that range was my longest uh, whitetail grind. That's number eight down. This is like the uh, the honey hole. This this lake right here is nuts. I know, Cody, we have not found another great one. I do have an albino on the map, though, that we will be taking out uh, later in the stream. There wasn't going to be Riley, but we got our map to be ridiculously efficient during uh, the testing that I was doing today, trying to move my zones around, figure out what zones I should be prioritizing, and... Well, we got things to be ridiculously efficient, to say the least. Provided I can hit my shots, which is, you know, questionable. We got this grind to be pretty mad efficient. Want to make a guess on when a Red Deer Great One show up for you? You're 3151 kills in at the moment. Most of my Great One Red Deer showed up between 3000 and 6000. That was usually the range at which I was getting them. Don't be shaking on me. Boom, got him. This will be 9 and 10 and 11. And we still have one minute. Yeah, so we're getting roughly 10 to 11 moose every 10 minutes, um, which would come out to about 60 to 70, like roughly 60 to 70 per hour. I'm just going to call it 60. Just be on the safe side, go on the low end of things. We're getting about a moose every minute. So from now on, like, if I stream three hours, we'll, we'll know that that's about 180 moose. Definitely couldn't say that a couple days ago, which is amazing. We went from getting, like, 30 per hour to about 60 per hour. That's pretty insane. Pretty insane. Is Hunting Sim too good? Not really, no. The developers that made it really didn't care about the game. They just wanted to make a quick buck and then leave. And that's exactly what they did. They released the game, released a couple DLCs that nobody wanted, and then stopped updating the game and never spoke to the community again. Which is why I don't play Hunting Sim 2 anymore. It had potential, but they squandered it. Could have been good, but wasn't. Now, that's not to say that it's a terrible game. It's an okay hunting game. Yeah, I just don't... I just don't want to support what they've done. Um, I haven't yet, Bebop. Uh, let me... Let me check it after the stream, and then I will, uh... I'll respond to you. 
Yeah, exactly, Bobby. That's exactly what they did. Been thinking I might want to get a tent there as well because we actually do get a decent bit of moose that spawn in this area. So it might not be a bad idea to get a, uh, a tent right there just to go quickly claim them. Ander, I'm doing amazing. What did I do? Um, wait, have I already, have I already responded to that? I might have already responded to that uh, message. But, oh, what the? Oh, oh, hey there. <laughs> I thought I saw something. Oh my gosh. Well, as I was saying, uh, what we've done is we essentially doubled the speed at which we're killing moose just by changing the zones that I was hunting and hunting less zones. Instead, I'm hunting zones that have more moose. And so far, it's working out phenomenally. What was that moose doing, though? <laughs> that was something else. Magical moose flying through the sky, exactly. Yeah, we do, Nathan. Hope you're doing good. Hey, Johnny. Uh, Jake, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Last time I'm going to say this, but sorry for bothering you earlier. So my mixed emotions, man, could not... Thank you enough. Hey, no problem, man. Always here for y'all. We got a couple we can blast there. That's actually a pretty solid looking moose, honestly. There we go. See, when we get little zones like this, where we just absolutely smack them with the hard shots back to back to back. That's where we really pick up speed on how many we're killing uh, per hour. Uh, yeah, Mitchell, I do. Hope for a super rare tonight. That would be pretty insane. We know for a fact we've got a uh, albino we're going to kill tonight. Whenever I get to that zone, which should be pretty soon. I got him to show up last night. He's nothing insane. He's just a, an average size albino, but still pretty cool to see. This is a pretty solid one, 237. I get a lot of those like 230s moose. A lot of 230s and 240s moose. Those ones that are kind of like, not necessarily a high scoring four, but like a mid scoring four. I see a lot of those. Haven't been getting many uh, diamonds the last day though. I think I've only had one diamond in the last like two or three hundred moose kills, so we were on quite a hot streak with the diamonds for a while and it's kind of slowed down for me. But the rares have still been popping up, which is nice. Do I want the spider rack or the typical rack? I like the typical rack uh, pancake. That's my favorite. I want either the typical rack or another big non-tip with a fur type. Any fur type, to be honest, at this point. Just as long as it looks fancy and special, I'll be happy with it. Later, Bandit. Thank you for being here. Let's see if we can get this little dude. Oh wait, that one's giving us a better shot. Nailed that guy with a hard shot. This guy, not so much, but he will still go down. Or he should at least. Oh, now he definitely is. Smoked him. Those have still not rendered in, so we're going to have to go ahead and reset the time once again. What's my biggest rare? Oh, man. It's honestly, my biggest rare has to be either my big rack, super rare, um, piebald red deer, or my diamond melanistic moose. Those are probably my two biggest rares. Actually, no, no. My biggest rare is my leucistic diamond mallard duck that I got like two and a half or three years ago or however long it was. All right, later, Jason. Thank you for being here, dude. Appreciate it as always. There we go. We're finally hitting those hard shots. First run was a little bit rough, but we're looking better already. Bear, 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 bear. Hey, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure she's probably lurking. That one over there, I don't know if we're go if we're gonna go claim him because he did kind of run a very far way away. 
Ways away? Ways away? I can't speak. My gosh. He ran a very far ways away. It is kind of a tongue twister, though, so I can see why I might have messed that one up. Will I use the 338 for the moose grind? Oh, definitely, man. Definitely. It's going to speed it up so much. Like, if I make a bad shot and I miss the heart and just hit a regular single lung, it'll kill it much quicker than the 300 could, which is going to save a lot of time for grinding. Super rare tree. Yep, yep, sounds about right. Was the 27th great one a whitetail? It was. It was a short rack whitetail on good old Leighton Lakes. What was my first great one? It was a cluster rack uh, great one whitetail off of Rancho during the first week of the Rancho release. Hey, Wayne, how's it going, dude? Shit, the great one with the 22. Uh, no, no, probably not. Unless they had a great one duck, then sure. Hey, Buck, how's it going? That's a good one. Very nice looking moose. That's an okay one as well. Decent level three. Oh, that guy is not facing us anymore. And that one is kind of going behind the trees. It's almost like they don't want me to shoot them. Like, that's kind of weird. We missed the heart. Oh, he's going down, though. He's still going down very fast. Is there great ones in the angler? Not necessarily great ones, per se, but there's something called legendary fish. Unfortunately, though, they're like set spawn points, so it really doesn't give the same feeling as the uh, great ones do. Hey, Call the Wild Connor, you have not missed too much. In fact, uh, you made it just in time. We're going to go kill an albino very shortly. We're going to go shoot an albino that I found last night while I was grinding. In like two more zones will be there. Two or three. It says I did it. What did you do? I found a way to make our grind twice as efficient as before, uh, Joe. I re reset up all of my tents at new zones. I went through my map. I figured out which zones were going to be more time efficient in terms of the amount of moose that we can kill versus how many tents we have to use to hunt those zones. And I got it to where we've got a crazy efficient grind. Oh, I'm super excited for it, Alex. It's going to be amazing. Uh, yeah, Connor, it is. I don't shoot any cows, so anytime we get a rare, it is going to be a bull. Unless I have, like, an accidental shot into a cow, which has happened a few times, yeah. <laughs> is it a big albino? It's kind of an average size albino. It's not huge. It's not small kind of middle of the road albino just one cow okay we're not going to worry about this zone doesn't seem like anything wants to show up I believe it's in the nighttime aquatic I can't remember the exact time I just know it's kind of late hey Kathy we haven't got anything yet we uh we have an albino on the map that we're going to go shoot very shortly though Kind of a strange looking moose. Honestly, this zone, I'm kind of wondering if I should move the placement of things. Uh, the bulls from this zone, they stopped showing up. I haven't seen them there in a very long time, so thinking I need to start moving things a little bit. He didn't spook. That will make him a pretty easy target if we can get his attention. Ah, oh, man. No, not going to get his attention, I don't think. We'll try a couple more times. Nah, he's long gone. He is out of our vision now. Ah, uh, no, Kingston. There is no limits on how much you can sleep in Call of the Wild. It uh, really just comes down to how much you can afford to sleep in the game. All right, here we go. This is where the albino is. 
Uh, yes, it's gonna be coming out on the 14th of this month, Alex. So, like, eight days, I believe? It's insanely close. There's our little albino. It's a cute little level three. Just a tiny little feller. After we kill this one, I want to probably leave this zone. It's kind of a waste of a tent. Because there's only one male I can shoot. There's three moose in this zone. One female and two males. So if I shoot more than just one, then it'll delete the zone. So I want to abandon this zone. It's really not that good. Let's see if we can get this thing down. Um, I'm going to zero for 300 and right missing the heart. But it's okay. I think we still got vitals. No, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. How far was that again? I mean, it was about 300 where we would have shot him. Not sure what happened there. I guess we'll find out. Would have been... Yeah, roughly 308. Curious what happened there, actually. Very curious what happened there. I mean, it's not a matter of getting so many rares. It's a matter of killing hundreds of animals to get those rares. Um, this guy spawned about 150 kills ago and haven't seen another one since. A lot of the kills, uh, you guys don't necessarily see because I'm doing it off stream as well. Right now, like I said, we're able to kill about 20 moose every 20 minutes so that's like 60 per hour I did like four hours of grinding last night I did two or three hours of grinding um, today plus about I believe six or seven hours of grinding on stream yesterday that's a lot of moose and I think in that time we only got like three rares that's like three rares and probably six to seven hundred kills What are the average kills for a great one moose to spawn? I've seen most of them show up between 1 and 2,000 for the majority of people. Um, my luck's been quite different. My first three showed up within like 1,200 kills of each other. And then uh, this current grind going for number four, it's been 2,000 since our last great one. So yeah, it, it kind of goes back and forth with the uh, moose. Speaking of moose, let's see if we can find this albino. I don't know where he's going to be. I'm kind of thinking of looping around. Honestly, I'm really curious where we even hit him. Because it looked like it should have been a decent shot. I wonder if we went between the lungs. I'd say we either went between the lungs or we got a penetration glitch. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Can we get his attention real quickly? Oh no, the first one did get his attention and then we blew it. <laughs> no, the first one got his attention and he had a delayed reaction. <laughs> Feels bad, man. I don't think that's that shot hit him either. Ah, oh, we're going to be here a while. We are going to be here for a while. Yeah, Raider, I remember you. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to use, to be honest, Johnny. I know for a fact 338 is going to be a main rifle for me. I don't know about the 7 mil, though. I guess it will really depend on how many deer I can kill before they spook away. Because right now, that's the reason I use the 308 for Whitetail, is because I can kill them much quicker and uh, actually get multiple deer before they flee. Did you hit the second time? I don't think I did, no. What mic do I use? I use a Shure MV7. Currently just over 13 mil, Duckman. Nice, Ben. I think that'll be a solid one. How long did it take for the level 3s to start showing up constantly? Are you talking about for when I used to do herd management, uh, DeLegend? 
And are you, wait, what species are you even talking about as well? Because there's a lot of species that have level threes. He still hasn't died. How many zones do I have for the moose? About 120 uh, rage plays. It's it's definitely not a small amount. There is way too many zones to be honest. Oh, I, I discovered how to make our grind twice as efficient, Riley. I used to be able to kill 30 moose an hour, now I can kill 60 of them an hour. So we, we essentially doubled our efficiency. What is our dog doing back there? He's just, he's not even following the blood, he's just waiting for us to go to him. Come on. Track for me. What are you doing, buddy? We're never gonna find this thing if you don't track it. Come on. Come on. Why are we going all the way back here, eh? Well, what are we doing? What is... There's nothing here! <laughs> what it... My dog's broken. He's broken. You know what? I'm just gonna follow the other tracks, because I know they're with him. Yes, Hunter is incredibly smart. Very smart. Um, I just told you, Stinger, we doubled our efficiency on the grind. We kill twice as many in an hour as we used to be able to. Just by changing the zones that we were hunting and um, hunting less areas. We've got our tents a bit more condensed, so we actually have claiming tents now. Yeah, this thing's not going to come back right now. We'll get it later. I'm not going to waste time. Had to put your dog out to pasture. <laughs> something. He's, uh, he's definitely got something wrong with him now. Uh, not all of them are here. What maps have I started the moose grind? Just here on Medved. I haven't done it on other maps. I've done the whitetail grind on a couple different maps, though. But not the, uh, not the moose grind. For me, for moose, it's just good old Medved. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. Uh, no rage, I'm not. Nice. Never seen a Great One Moose on Yukon. Yeah, not a lot of people hunt Yukon for the Great One Moose. Primarily just because there's so much water to cover. Um, Yukon has that giant river and moose can be all over it. The reason Medved's such a popular choice is because all the water is ice, so you can walk across it. Which makes it really easy to... Uh, Get to everything that you kill. So we shot two over here. I don't know where they ran. Actually, there's one right there. There's the other one as well. Beautiful. Well, there's no such thing as really progress in a grind, Kingston, because a great one can spawn off of any male animal that you kill for them, that species. So if I shoot, that's why like there's sometimes where people will kill like thousands on one map and then they go to another map and kill like two and they find the great one. 
There's no such thing as progress to a great one. Every animal you kill has a chance of giving you that great one. Doesn't matter where you're shooting them. Doesn't matter if you're switching between maps. You got the same chances of a great one spawning. How many kills am I at? Just over 2,000, Joe. Yeah, of course, Steer Killer. Exactly, Johnny. Exactly. Come on, Moose. Hmm. Guess they don't want to show up. Oh, I think we've been there before, uh, or since the last time we main menued. I don't want to main menu though, because we already hit that albino, and I want to see where we hit it. And if we leave, it'll take that shot away. I want to see why we didn't get vitals. It blows my mind that we didn't. Get a troll level nine black bear by point nineteen. Ooh, that's that's unfortunate. That's a big old feels bad. There we go. It's gonna say where they go. There's our mail. Oh, two males actually. Beautiful. Now don't go there. Now I can't see you. Well, we smoked him. I don't know if he's going to die super quick, but we got him. Uh, yeah, Ace, you could totally do a grind without tripods. It's just you got to be more wary of uh, how much hunting pressure you get over top of a zone. Like, if you get a ton of hunting pressure, then you might need to leave a zone for a little bit and kind of avoid putting more pressure over top of it so you don't delete it. But other than that, yeah, you can totally do a grind without tripods. I know a decent bit of people that have done it before. Definitely possible. Just a little bit harder to keep track of your uh, hunting pressure. Uh, yeah, Swisser 10. I had, I had heard a few people say that. Pretty cool. I love it when they give multiple variations to rares in this game. Makes me wish they did it for more of them. Nice, we smoked him. What's the best hunting stand? Uh, the tripods. The tripods are a lot better in most scenarios. Uh, tree stands definitely have their place in the game, though. Tree stands can be useful, but they're not as useful as the tripods. Just to, due to needing a tree, it makes it a little bit more limited on where you can put them. Down he goes. Uh, this one kind of like ran out onto the ice, unfortunately. That's going to give us a little bit of a walk. What map is this? This is Medved Taiga. Later, Joe. Thank you for being here. Imagine a piebald turkey. I mean... That'd be interesting, for sure. Kinda curious what that would even look like. Can a turkey be piebald in real life? I don't know if they can. I'm assuming the uh, the light brown is kinda like their equivalent to a piebald. If I were to take a guess. 4100 moose, oh man, beaming dog, that's crazy. That is pretty wild. Yeah, they can be leucistic. But I don't think there is any piebalds in real life. 
Which is what we were referring to as piebalds. Okay, this one didn't die anywhere close. I know this one over here definitely did, though. Piebald turkeys are a thing? Interesting. Curious why Call of the Wild's never done that then. Because if they're a real thing, you would think that they would add them to the game. But then again, leucistic deer are a thing and they don't have those either. Nice, Teen. I bet that's going to be fun. Quick little reset. Well, hello there. Couple decent looking moose. One really nice four and then honestly kind of a bigger level three. Let's try to get their attention a little bit. Need them to move a bit. Oh, he stopped. No, no, no. God, I love it when they just do that little stutter stop. Uh, Lex Lama, thank you so much for becoming a member. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emos, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. Uh, we haven't got a great one today, Andrew. No great one today. If you're talking about the title, that's referring to the fact that we have doubled the efficiency of the grind. I went from killing 30 to 35 moose per hour, uh, clear up to 60 per hour, just by changing the zones I was hunting and putting my tents in more efficient places. I decided to start hunting a lot of zones where there were zones across from each other so I could use the tents and put the tents on top of the zone. That way I can shoot from one, go to the other, claim them, and then shoot the other. Fast travel, claim them. We move things around quite a bit, and it's kind of insane. The fact that we doubled our efficiency like that. It's going to make this grind so much more tolerable. If turkeys sell their drink zones in SRP, I would want a turkey great one. Maybe that's what they're going to do because they did add turkey to Layton. I don't think they will do a turkey great one anytime soon. Oh, they, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's probably a diamond. That'll be my first diamond in over 150 kills. That'll be pretty nice if it makes it. I hope this thing makes it. That's a nice one. That definitely should make it. That'll be like 275, 276, I believe. I believe at least it should be around that range. Go down. Man, I cannot wait to get the 338. It's going to make uh, those moments so much more tolerable. Let's see. That's the one that we heart shot. These two were not here. Um, that herd is still not there, so yeah, I guess they're not going to show up. How many great ones so far? None today. But we did just down what is probably a diamond. This has a very high chance of being a diamond. And we've got an albino on the map that we whiffed the shot on. Oh yeah, that's definitely a diamond. Easily. 281, not bad. First diamond of the stream, second of the day after a couple hundred kills. Not too bad. Hitting them with that hard shot. Man, I, I just cannot wait for the 338. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Really gonna save me a bunch of time.
Yeah, a lot of y'all were pretty close with those guesses. I think Andrew was the closest. Oh yeah, Fuzzy, I love that rack. The the big typical rack looks really good on them. I kind of hope I get that rack with one of the fur types. I, I either want to get that one or one of the racks I don't have. Preferably the typical rack. Yeah, I know I didn't tax it. We've got a bunch of that rack already. Typically on Great One Grinds, I try to only tax stuff that I don't have a lot of. Otherwise, I just have a trophy manager of a bunch of trophies that never get put in a lodge. Might need to time reset. Later, Adam. Thank you for being here, dude. Hopefully this great one moose can be a rare fur. That'd be pretty crazy. Rare fur type moose would be ridiculous. Lower level people like me are going crazy since you didn't tax it. Yeah, I can understand that. I could definitely understand that. When you get quite a few, like, uh... When you get as far into the game as I am right now, I've played about 5,000 hours of the game. Um, you really have to start thinking about, like, am I actually going to put this up in my lodge? Uh, do I have room for it? You got to start thinking about those things once you get further into the game. Because at this point, as a content creator who has killed a couple thousand diamonds and does great one grinds with this all the time, or great one grinds like this all the time. Um, my trophy manager has like over a thousand animals in it. There's our albino. My trophy manager has over a thousand animals in it and my lodges are already filled. I have nowhere to put them. And if I could delete half of them right now, I would, but their, their system for like deleting stuff is so bad that I don't even bother. Well, it's a great one that I hope to see come to the game. I would love to see them add a blacktail, mule deer, one of the elk, or possibly a fallow deer, or a euro bison, something like that. Double check the distance, 190, okay. Mm, don't be doing that to me. We're gonna get extra close. I'm really curious what that first shot looks like. Well, I want to make sure that we actually get him. What do you guys think? What do you think the first shot was like? My guess is the first shot either didn't get penetration or it went in between the lungs. You are still attentive. There we go. Alert. There we go, he's down. I use the Sure MV7 T-Bone. Lower left leg? We'll see. That's That was the case yesterday. That is not nearly enough subs to do that, Cash. There he is. Let's see. What is this guy? What What is the first hit going to look like on this guy? Yep, we didn't get penetration. Um, That honestly should have been a kill shot. That should have been a kill shot. It, did the humorous stop the energy like that much? Did it really slow it down that much? I feel like I've made that shot a million times. It was right on the money too. That would have hit heart. Man.
Crazy. I feel like that should have been a hard shot there. Well, anyway, we got it down. Got full score. 153. Cute little feller. It really did, Beaming. It really did. At least it wasn't an ankle shot. Yeah, we don't we don't talk about them ankle shots now, do we? <laughs> Alright, now that we caught him, we can finally main menu. Now that we got uh closure on that shot. Gotcha, faded. Like you were saying that it went to the left of where I was aiming. I get what you're saying. All right, so now that we have killed that one, I'm getting rid of this zone. Or not getting rid of the zone, but I'm going to move the tent because I need it in a better place. This area is not efficient. There's only three moose, and I can only shoot one or else the zone will delete. So we are just going to move on to another area. There we go. And where do we move this to? I got a couple areas that I can think of off the top of my head that would be pretty good. This has at least two or three we can claim there. That would be pretty efficient. Another option is to do it right here. We have two that we claim there. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go to this one. This seems to be like the best place to uh, put this tent. So we'll drop it over there once we get there. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. Yeah, but I've made so many 300 meter shots from that angle, Johnny. Like every single run I'm making shots like that. So it, it just blows my mind that that one didn't get penetration. Look at that little dude. Adorable. All right. With hitting the bone? I'm pretty sure I have hit the bone a few times. I can't remember how it affected it before, though. I just know I've done that angle a lot and been fine. But yeah, I guess it could have been the bone. Oh. Okay, I did get that one. That one, that was definitely just a bad shot on my part for this guy. Apparently on both of them. That's only one herd as well. We need the other herd to show up. Exactly, Beaming. That's what you got to do with this grind. Just get efficient at claiming them quickly, which is why we're doing the claiming tents as much as we can. That did not get his attention. That one did. Uh, we're going to try the Hyperion and see how that does at this range. Boom! Hard shot. That's how it did. Boom! Hard shot again. Maybe all we needed was the uh, Hyperion. I think it's just because it doesn't uh, stutter and shake as much. The Argus almost has like a little bit of a jitter to it. I might do a little bit of testing between the two scopes more and see what I do better with at long range. Sometimes it just feels like I do better with the Hyperion. Makes me remember why I used to only use that scope. Hey Cornelius, how's it going? No, Dylan, we have not got another great one. Uh, we just killed an albino and a diamond though. We got ourselves a diamond and an albino so far this stream. And we uh, doubled our efficiency on the grind, which is what the title is about. I'm able to kill 60 moose an hour instead of 30 like we used to. We have greatly increased our speed. Yeah, for sure, Cody. Honestly, I feel like they need to introduce a new scope. They need to give us an option that's in between the Argus and the Hyperion. Like, give us like a 4 to 14. 
I think that'd be great. Like a 4 to 14 X would be an amazing scope. Would love that thing if they put it in. Or even something crazy like a 12 to 20. A 12 to 20 would be insane. Yes, I did, Ace. We did. There's our moose right there. The other two we hit very poorly, so I don't know if we're going to find them. I don't even know if those second shots got into vitals. Possible, I guess, but... We'll do a quick little look for the, uh, the blood. Ah, uh, track not found. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it then. I was wanting to do it yesterday, but then, uh, Kill Clinton couldn't get his internet to work properly, Trenton. I wanted to do it the day before, but nobody else wanted to jump on with me. Um... I was thinking about doing it today, but then I ended up not doing my regular stream, and I wasn't even going to stream today because I wanted to just get video stuff done. But then, once I started getting this grind more down to a T, I decided that I wanted to uh, jump on for a quick little stream. Alright, he's down. Hmm, you know what? Should we do it? Should we do that second tent at this zone instead? I kind of think so. Because this one is a lot easier to hit the hard shots on because it is such a close zone. So we could just smoke them in the heart and then immediately fast travel and grab them. Any diamonds? Yeah, we got one diamond so far and one albino. Same, Stinger. I'm very excited to see what they're going to show off tomorrow. Super excited to see. Hoping it's going to be something like groundbreaking. Non-typicals are my hope. <laughs> that would be amazing. I highly doubt it, but man, I would love it if it's non-tips. I can't remember, did Jaxi say that he was going to be revealing new features, or did he say, like, or did he just generalize and say that he was going to be showing off some stuff? Did he say some stuff, or did he say new features? Well, that was too late at that point, bro, bro. KC couldn't do it last night because his internet was being stupid. I'm talking about it's been impossible to get everybody together to do suns. There we go. Let's get that guy down. Uh, it's like a face, a normal kid. XD is like a face. Beautiful. That's a nice moose. I think he was the only one here this time. It's what we used before emojis, exactly. I remember growing up, that's like what everybody used. They would do like XD or they would do you like the little smiley face, you know, without it being an emoji. Back in my day, we used to have to make our emojis, I tell you what. Yee -wee. Terrible impersonation, but you know, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Exactly, uh, exactly, Fellblade. Exactly. Just like that. Where's our great one? Oh, I'll be right back. My cat's getting into stuff.
There we go. We're good. She was telling me she needed water. Little Evie needed her bowl filled. Now she's happy. What, th what are you doing, ma'am? All right. That was interesting. Later, bro, bro. Uh, yeah, I caught I do uh, hunt IRL. Haven't been able to much in recent years, but yes, I, I have hunted before. How many kills since last great one? Over 2,000 at this point. What the? What did my mouse just do? That was interesting. My mouse just absolutely broke there. So my favorite kind of jerky if I've ever made it. I've never made any, no. That's the thing, um, Blanky. I got really low DPI. My mouse just pointed me at the ground. I don't see any others that we killed anywhere close. It's just these two right here. Honestly, I've had a few issues with this uh, mouse ever since I got it. I had a few times where it just stopped tracking completely. And now it's like making me stare at the ground. I had issues with the last G502 I bought as well. Like the first one I ever got was phenomenal. One of the best mice I've ever used. The two I've got since then have been very mediocre. I think it's because this is like the newer version, the G502 Hero. And I think my first one was the regular G502. Which I imagine, since it's an older one, it was probably better quality. Yeah, I did shoot the rare, uh, Vikes. We got our little albino down. What the? Oh my gosh, there's another here. Y y you guys didn't see that. That was... Nope, nope, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I didn't even shoot the one over here. Rip. I didn't even realize that was the same one. Is the level one moose rare? Yeah, they're not exactly easy to find. Pheasant jerky's fire. It sounds interesting. I don't think I've ever had pheasant jerky, no. I've had bison jerky. I've had, obviously, venison jerky. Stuff like that. I've even had a uh, Wagyu jerky, which is really good. It is amazing. And then obviously like regular beef jerky. Can I hit this? Oh, yes, we can. Two shots into that guy as well. Beautiful. Yeah, elk jerky is pretty good. I have had that also. It's been a long time though. Ooh. Hit that guy again. Hard shot. Maybe one of these days, biker. Definitely a possibility. You never know. Yeah, elk is so good. I've never had gator jerky. That does sound really good. I'll be live at the normal time, 1 p.m., Braden. One p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that is. I always got to specify since uh, time zones differ quite a bit from place to place. What gun am I using? The 300 Magnum. Really good gun. The 
The last one, I don't know if it'll die close to where we shot it last. We're gonna go check for it though. Hey TTK, how's it going? I haven't even touched Layton, dude. Just Medved, you know? Gotta head over to that Medved, you know? The Medved Snow. The level one scored 64.74. Holy. Holy. I'm doing good, TTK. Just uh, having fun with the moose. Finding new ways to be more efficient. I, I, have, I have officially doubled the speed at which I can kill a moose. Which is why I decided to do this little stream tonight. I got to a point where we're killing about 60 moose an hour instead of 30, which is kind of an absurd jump. That's double just by moving a few tents around. How is that not a hard shot? Okay. All right, then. Oh, he stopped sprinting. Of course. They always know how to time it so perfectly to where I miss the shot. No heart shot there either. No, Colton. They shouldn't do any pop resets on the next update. They, they've said that they're trying not to do those as much as they can. Pros out here botching rares the usual. Oh yeah, that is what I do. Y'all should know by now. I can't, I can't aim. You don't have to aim well to get great ones, you know? My gosh, my my cat is literally just sprinting across the bedroom, jumping on the bed, jumping into the window, jumping off the bed, running under the bed. She going wild right now. Now she's just staring at me. Uh, I wish I could show y'all, but I don't have like a setup to where my camera could even see her anymore. Your cats only do that at 5 a.m.? Mine does it whenever she wants. She is going crazy. My gosh. I haven't seen her this hyper in forever. Great one grind without aiming. Oh, oh gosh. How would that go? That that could never end well. That could never end well. What map do I use mainly? Like for what? Oh, for Moose? Uh, for Moose, it's this one, Medved Taiga. This is the only map that I've grinded for Moose. For the Great One Moose, at least. Before there was a Great One Moose, I hunted late in a decent bit. But uh, once they did the Great One Moose, it's been pretty much all Medved Taiga in terms of Moose grinding. Come on. Get him down quick. There he goes. No great ones this stream, Colton. We got a diamond and an albino, though. What type slash color of cat do I have? Uh, we have two cats. One is a long-haired black cat. The other is a black and white short-haired cat. And their names are Evie and uh, Jasper. Evie 
Evie's the one running around the room right now. There we go. We'll check this zone again. It's been kind of a weird one. This great one must be close. It's got to be, man. I mean, at this point, we're at like 2,100 kills. Close to 2,100 kills. Let me actually get a official count. So we were at 2,060 when I started the stream. We've killed probably about 60 moose, so that would be like 2,120. Yeah, it's been a while since we got our last one. Oh, 100%, Nathan. 100%. Oh, there's a moose. There's one of them there, male moose assists, I tell you. What was that? <laughs> that didn't even hit the moose. Or did it? Wait. It did. Was there two males? I, I'm so confused. I shot and then I see a moose running off, but I, I definitely killed him. There was two males and I could only see one of them. Well then, I mean, I couldn't see the second one, Johnny. Maybe it was the fact that I was tunnel visioned on the one, but. Hey, Hamoud, we got ourselves a diamond and an albino. That has been uh, the best kills of the stream so far. Yeah, probably Fellblade would not uh, would not doubt that one bit. That's usually how things go for me. I'm gonna back up a bit. I gotta see. Is there anything in this close zone? I got a feeling the males just stopped going to this close zone. They definitely did. We gotta move things. Thank you, Ace. Uh, not really, Scott. No. I I have plenty of cats already. I, I'm good with uh I'm good with these. Three hundred away. Uh, we're gonna get much closer. To be honest, I don't care about this zone. If there's only two females in it now and the males aren't coming back, not really worth trying to hunt it at all. About 240. Boom. There we go. Uh, because I would reply to your comment, Columbia, and tell you to message me in Discord. If you ended up winning one, then I would tell you to message me in Discord. That's the only way to know. So you got to pay attention to your comment and see if it, uh, see if I have commented under it. Not one of the scammers, but me in particular. Not one of the people that try to pretend to be me. Hey, don't waste to die. It's been pretty good. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot of scammers right now, unfortunately. There is a ton of them right now, sadly. It is what it is, though. Just gotta work around them. That's not a bad four. In fact, that's a really good four. Getting less moose over there as well. Not liking what I'm seeing. Seeing a few of these just losing their males. We got two there. There's one. Okay. 
But uh, that's that's not good. That normally has a couple males. I'm gonna hope that's not a bad sign. Welcome back, uh, Faded. Ooh, that wipeout. <laughs> I love that wipeout animation. It's so good. This female moose would not move. Wow. She was protecting him to the very end. That should have been vitals. Yeah, it is. Hit him a second time as well. Oh yeah, Ace Outdoors. That's right, man. Gotta come through with the late streams every once in a while. Oh yeah, definitely Columbia. I've had a few of those. It's always great. It's always great to see. Where's that one? There he is. Two forty one, not a bad moose, not a bad moose at all. Hey, Tony, how's it going? It's your nightly walk to the store, so you'll be home soon. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's really no specific place to get high scoring whitetail the goat. There, There is no like specific place in the game that's going to give you more than another. It's honestly just random as to where each like uh as to where your high scoring versus low scoring will show up. There's no like specific place that gives you more big males than others. Wait, we have a There was an extra dead I guess I didn't main menu. I guess we should probably do that then. That was one from last run. I don't listen to him, Aquatic. What part of Oregon do I live in? The, the like, greener half. That's as, that's as far as I'll go with it. I won't say any more. Somewhere amongst the greener half of Oregon. What shade of green? Uh, whatever color conifer trees are, you know? Darker greens. Is that a Mela female or is that shadows? I think it's just shadows because this guy looks the same, but he's got brown on his back. Although, that might be Mela. Look at that score estimate. It goes to 217, and it kind of looks like he scores 217. That might be a Mela. I don't know. Maybe. Gosh, I don't know. I don't think so, but... No, I definitely don't think so.
He turned. It never fails. The moose are so good at turning right when you shoot. It's just to force them into their need zones, Justin. That's the only purpose of the, the time resets that I'm doing, is just to get them in their need zone. Because these moose were not here when I got here, so I had to time reset to get them here. It's not efficient money-wise, but it's very time efficient. Nothing there. Like right here, there was nothing at that zone. So, we reset the time. See if we can get some here. Now we got a female here, and there's the males. Oh, he stopped again. They always do that. Honestly, I should expect it at this point, but they do it so sporadically and randomly. Which, to be honest, that's probably what they're going for to make it harder to hit them on the run. Yes, Hayden, I do have two 300s on me. That was tan? Apparently, Johnny. Who would have thunk it? Time equals money? Exactly, Flanky. On a grind like this, you need to save as much time as possible. If I didn't time reset every time they're not there, I wouldn't kill even half the amount of moose I kill per hour. I'd be lucky to kill like 10 or 15 moose probably, because I'd be reliant on when they make it to their zones. Oh! Oh, no joke, I thought that was a, I thought that was a great one. That's a big rack diamond though. Oh my gosh, look at that beast. That is a big rack diamond moose. Very well could surpass 300 on the score. I say we take this thing down with something different than a 300. Question though is what? What gets requested a lot that I haven't done? I mean, I haven't really seen anybody request it, but I kind of want to use a 44. That can take them, right? The 44 covers class 8, right? Or is it, does it just go to 7? It goes to 8? Wow, okay. Yeah, we're, we're totally going to do that. 44 Magnum versus Giant Moose. No sight as well. We're going Irons. You know, we got to customize this bad boy as well. We got to customize this thing. It is like one of the nicest looking handguns. So I feel like we got to see if we can make it even nicer. Wow, that's actually... Not going to lie, I kind of like that look. That's very subtle, but honestly, that kind of fits. We'll just do some basic customization. Nothing crazy. I like that, though. Let's try to get close and take him down. That thing is huge. What an absolute monster. One of the bigger ones I've had in a while. Definitely. Yeah, that's right, Johnny, because that pack leaked on Xbox, right?
For those that aren't familiar with it, Mel's Gaming already did a uh, video on this, but there's a... There's apparently a Hirschfelden veteran pack, I think is what it's called, or something like that. That has shown up on the Xbox store like a week ago. And it shows a bunch of skins that come with it. And then the weapon pack is going to include seven skins as well. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of skins with this next update. Some of them look really good too. I didn't do a video on it because Mel had already covered it. But yeah, there was uh, there was some that showed up on Xbox. I mean, it's a it's a joke, faded. <laughs> it's a joke, because <laughs> fabled Mel is not a fur type for moose, only regular Mela. Uh, we haven't got the great one yet, Alyssa. We killed a diamond and an albino, and we're about to kill another diamond. A huge diamond as well. Biggest one we've seen in a while. I'm going to say this one will be 300.77. That's my guess, 300.77. Hard to say, though. Our wind is really good, though. We should be able to just sneak up as close as we want to get. I'm thinking we'll go to 75 and then aim for the heart. Maybe. Ooh, he's getting... He's getting closer. He's still at a good angle, though. Um, I don't know if I do, Cody. I don't think I do, no. It did, I caught. For a second, I thought this was a great one. Because the rack just looks so big from the side. Like, my first thought was, oh gosh, do we have the typical rack? Nope, it's a diamond. But that's still pretty sweet, right? Still pretty awesome. Because it is a very big diamond. Can we do this? Should be good. It's good. Let's go. I didn't get the heart like I wanted to, but that was a solid hit. Was a very solid hit, so he'll go down. Well, that's awesome. Honestly, I feel like the 44 has got to be one of the least used guns in the whole game. I never see anybody using the 44 Magnum. When it's honestly not a bad handgun. It, it deals decent damage. There we go. Got that one as well. Oh yeah, I don't have that one, Cody. I think I just need a couple more diamonds, but I turned off the mission system a while back. Um, so I would stop getting like the dialogue and stuff popping up on like Layton. So I haven't seen, I haven't had any mission progress in a while. I'll sometimes do missions when new maps come out, but that's about it. What scope do I use? I kind of use both of them, Hayden. The Hyperion and the Argus. Really depending on the situation and how I'm feeling. What great one moose rack do I want? I want the typical rack. Look at that thing. Wow. Yeah, I'm still going to say 300.77. That's my guess. That would be my guess. Well, we will see. 300 points. Wow, I was so close. 300.70. That was almost the 300.77. That's really high scoring, actually. That's really high scoring. That is a monster right there. I think I've only ever had one break 301. It's really difficult to get 301 or higher. That guy's pretty big. We'll tax him for sure. 
Monster Moose. And we were almost on the heart, just a little bit to the right. But honestly, can't really ask for too much better. Now let's go claim the other one. And raise the diamond counter. How do I feel about the 10 gauge Miller? Um, I like all the 10 gauges. I think they look good. I think all of them look pretty nice. Want to moose with that rack so bad? They are pretty stunning. Like, they do look pretty good. Ah, just barely missed the heart there. I think I was a little bit too low. Yeah, definitely a bit low. I don't think I was too far forward. I think it was just too low. That was a hit too. Beautiful. Is the 300s like the 270s whitetail or more rare? A little bit more rare, Flanky. Because a lot of times that rack will score like 298 or 299. So it is rare to get it to break 300 for sure. How many 300 plus do I have? Like maybe five or six? Throughout the entire grind, and that's counting the ones that we got from herd management a long time ago. Because for a while we were grinding with just herd management, so naturally there's going to be more diamonds showing up. So we had probably five or six 300 plus during that grind. And then after we stopped it, I think I've only had two that were 300. Where did this guy go? He went over here, right? Oh, yeah, literally looking at him. Okay, amazing. Uh, just because of controversy in the community about it, Jay. There's a about half of the community that's very against it, and then the other half likes it. So there was a lot of arguing and like disagreeing going on, causing people to just completely take sides and cut the other side off. And I didn't want to be a part of that anymore. I'm not all about the like arguing and fighting. I would much rather just have everybody get along in the uh, in the game, you know. So I decided to uh, stop doing it since it was causing a lot of arguing amongst the community. It's not that I'm against it, it's that I felt it was best to just walk away from it. Ah, he's getting right in front of him. You know what? They'll probably die, but one of them's definitely going to uh, die faster than the other. Let's see if we can get this guy's attention as well. Yep, there we go. Hey, now stop moving. Nice. Finally got a hard shot. Yeah, exactly, Ace. I could never understand why there was so much, like, arguing amongst it. Like, there was people ending friendships over it. Which, in my opinion, is pretty stupid to end a friendship over a video game. Pretty stupid. What's that little animal? That was a musk deer right there. Uh, yes, that is the 22. I use the 22 to get their attention, and then, uh... After I've got their attention with it, I blast them with the 300. How long am I streaming for? At least another hour. Probably about an hour. Because it is a bit late, so I can't go too much more than an hour. We're already an hour and 36 minutes into the stream, so yeah, we probably got max of an hour left. As my daughter will need to go to bed before 10 o'clock. That is all up to you, a normal kid. 100% up to you, man. Whatever you have more fun with is what you should do.
Well, those guys are not going down anytime soon. Although this guy is literally running in circles. Thank you for uh, doing that. That's going to save me some walking. This herd has been really weird. They have not come back recently. Feels bad, man. What's your number one prediction for the free stuff in the update? I don't know, Ace. I'm hoping it'll be non-typicals, but honestly, I'm not going to hold my breath about that one. Probably not going to happen. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping we get loadouts soon. That's been a very long time requested feature. People have been wanting loadouts for years, so I hope we get something like that. Um, I'd love to see sorting features in the trophy lodge. That'd be pretty great. It's hard to say, though. I don't think we're getting a new great one. I don't believe we are. Pretty sure Jaxie said that we're not getting a new great one this update. And then he did his little, like, wink, wink, but maybe there's one in the works. So maybe in the future, like the next update after, hopefully we'll get a great one. Hope they add more guns. They are. They're going to be adding three new rifles with the next update. The 338 bolt action rifle, the 7 mil bolt action, and the 308 bolt action is all coming in the next update. Arguably the best, uh, best pack they've ever released. Look at that guy kind of hiding from us. Missed the heart, but did hit him. Beautiful, he's going down. When is the early access stream? Um, most likely a few days before full release. We don't know the exact details yet. All we know is that Jaxie had, um, like, accidentally said on stream that there would be early access. So, all we know is that there will be early access. It's hard to say when. My guess would be, like, the Friday or Saturday before. That's usually how they would do it, is they'd give us the weekend to play. And then full release would be on Tuesday, as always, so that's what I'm expecting. We will see, though. The second I know, you guys will know as well. Yes, the pack is coming the 14th, but there will be creator early access. Which will usually be a few days early. So, I mean, you guys could be seeing it in just a few days even, which is crazy. Crazy to think that it's that close. I honestly cannot wait to get my hands on it. I'm going to be testing the crap out of that 338. As well as the 7 mil. Would love a 17 HMR in the game? Me too, man. 17 HMR is a long requested caliber as well. To be honest, I don't know, Jacob. Just running around, really. If you're trying to get wolves to go aggressive, really all you can do is just run around till they attack you. At least that's what I've always done. I just run around till I get attacked and hope that I get attacked. Come on, buddy. Go down. There we go. Fairly new to, uh, to call the wild, having no diamonds, but having the seven mil and like hunting lions, any tip to get some diamonds. Um, one thing I'll tell you, man, the more you hunt water, the more you'll find diamonds just because you'll be seeing more animals. Uh, animals tend to be a lot easier to see when they're in their drinking zone. So if you're hunting around water primarily, there's going to be more animals you'll see, which means more chances at diamonds. What I would suggest, really, is just getting familiar with the drink times for animals and trying to explore as much of your map as you can, because the more of your map that you explore, the more you'll kind of figure out where all of the zones are for the animal that you want to get a diamond of. And then at that point, it's just a matter of killing them until you get a diamond.
What does different color Great One sign mean? Are you talking about just the other Great One logo? That's for the uh, Predator Great Ones, like the Black Bear. Right now, it's the only Predator Great One we have. But yes, it does have a different metal. Beautiful. Four males here, wow. Ah, oh, he's turned around wrong. Man, I wish he had been facing me. Nope, wrong gun, wrong gun. Hit, but not good. Not hit well at all. And missed that one. We got one, though. Oh, definitely flanky. They definitely are. Best spot to hunt, elk on Layton. I like the entire right half, to be honest. Like, a lot of those lakes on the right side of the map are pretty good. I just keep track of it in my head, Ethan. What I do is I, I figure out how many moose I can kill, or whatever species it may be. I find out how many I can kill in an hour, and then I just base it off of how many hours I've hunted. So right now we kill 60 moose an hour. So if I hunt for three hours, I know I've killed approximately 180 moose. And that's how I do my calculations. It's not like exact calculations, it's just estimations. But it, it gets the job done, you know? It's good enough for me. Ooh, that's rough, Lex. Oh, I just... I just went too far ahead. Alright, later, Johnny. Yeah, I could do that, Flanky, but I, I don't know. It just seems like too much to keep track of. When, when I'm in my grinding zone, I don't want to have to look down at a clicker every time I kill something. So I, I just get an estimation. Kind of a weird looking four over there. That guy's facing away from us. We'll shoot the four first since he's more impressive. Nice, we got the heart. Ooh. Smoke and um. Later, Ace, thank you for being here, dude. When did I start? An hour and 45 minutes ago. Good to see that all of our uh, moose are back here. I was worried that a couple of the males had disappeared, but I see them all now. Bro, are you guys gonna be like... There, there we go, finally. They finally noticed that I'm shooting next to them. Oh no, I hit the same one twice! <laughs> he just saved his buddy like crazy. That's wild. He saved his buddy. Uh, yeah, Kellen, I will be. We're making that a uh, hard push for getting a great one before the update. Gonna make any more Hunter Classic videos? Probably not. I really don't play Classic anymore. I stopped playing Classic when Way of the Hunter came out. I kind of just moved to Way of the Hunter because it's a, like a more updated version of Classic in a way. Got the same realistic aspect, right? But much more modern graphics. No, it doesn't, Lex. It, it's complete myth. If the, if anybody has said that stacking rares gives you more rares, that, that's a complete myth. It does not do that. That I can tell you because I've had I've had a rare whitetail on my map the entire grind pretty much. Uh, we've kept a piebald on our map named Lucky 
for over the last 10,000 kills at the very minimum. And it has not increased my rare count at all. If anything, I've had worse luck. <laughs> so no, it does not increase your chances of getting uh, rares. Same with like keeping a diamond on your map will not increase your chances of diamonds. Keeping a great one on your map doesn't increase your chances of great ones. I know there's some people that have said that before. I've seen nothing to say that that's true. Because in most cases, the people that are stacking rares or diamonds or great ones are doing herd management, so it's herd management that's probably giving them more diamonds, right? Not the, uh, the act of having a diamond on their map. Same with rares. Great ones are a bit different. I don't think they get affected by it at all. I think great ones are one of the most unaffected things in the game. Seems like they've been about the same no matter what I've done. Beautiful. <laughs> Three shots, okay. No, it definitely doesn't, Jacob. I can tell you that. If you can show me some, like, proven, like, some full proof that having a rare on your map helps get more rares or that having a diamond on your map help gets more di helps get more diamonds, then... I will gladly uh, take a look at it, you know. I think it's other things that get done while you're doing it that help you get more uh, diamonds, right? Like, it's not stacking diamonds that gets you more diamonds. Stacking diamonds would get you more low levels, and getting those low levels is what gets you more diamonds, right? So it's not the uh, diamonds that are getting you those diamonds. It's the lower levels that having all those diamonds helped you get. And so then those low levels in turn help you get diamonds. That's kind of how herd management works, right? Now I have seven diamond white tails sitting on your map. Nice, Braden. Hey, Vinok, how's it going? Best gun for a whitetail grind? Uh, the 308 AR and the M1 are two of the better picks, but honestly, you can use any of the 48 rifles. I just recommend those two because they're semi automatic. And that helps you with speed quite a bit. Yeah, Brayden, I'd, I'd say if you're just after a great one, then it doesn't really matter which one you go with. Kind of just do whatever's fun, you know? That's always my best advice, like, I don't care what method you use, but just make sure that you're doing whatever you have the most fun with. Uh, yeah, Simon, if you kill a couple females here and there, it's not going to stop you from getting a great one. It's just that a uh, shooting like a female moose can't respawn as a great one because it's a female. Uh, females will always respawn as females. Males will always respawn as males. So, um, shooting a female isn't going to stop you from getting a great one. It just won't really contribute to it because they can't respawn as a great one. That's really the only thing there. But yeah, it's not going to stop you from getting one. Yeah, Dusky, of course I remember you. Two males. Did not get heart on either of those. Did get the follow up shots, though, so I'll take it. There we go, he's down. 
appreciate it, Brayden. Yeah, like I was saying, if you if you get burnt out on something, there's there's no shame in taking a break, you know. If you need to take a break, do it. And sometimes just hunting something else for a little bit can help as well. That's what I do if I get tired of something. Like, I was getting kind of tired of the whitetail grind again, so we started hunting moose instead. And moose has been quite a bit of fun this time around. Been really enjoying the, uh, the moose smokage. That must have been a little bit high. Actually, I think we went in between the lungs. Because it's not even dying. Oh gosh, yeah, that was bad shots. Bellblade, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. And congrats to Benjamin for getting that gifted membership. Congrats, my dude. Do you shoot single zones? Yes, I do. Scrolling through studio, found out someone used my kind of title the same too. That sounds about right, French fry. Oh no, no great one yet, Will, but we did double our speed at which we can grind. That That's what the title is about. We managed to double the speed at which we're killing moose. We get about 60 moose an hour now instead of 30 to 35. Just by kind of redistributing my tents to different areas that are a bit more efficient. Hey, Echlin, we are, let's see, we've been going for about two hours. We did have a small period where we weren't really shooting anything because we were chasing an albino and a diamond. But I would say probably got 100 kills in two hours. So we're at like 2160 since our last great one. Definitely our longest moose grind. And you know what's crazy? Um, the first thousand kills in this grind right here were when we were still doing herd management. And it was by far like the deepest into the HM grind where... It was at its peak, right? We were doing, we were getting a lot more diamonds than normal. And it still took longer with nothing than the three previous ones where we didn't even have it activated yet. That's the crazy thing. Like my first two great ones, 100% showed up before herd management was working. Third great one was when it was starting to work. And then we went another thousand doing it, didn't get anything. Then I stopped doing it and we've killed another thousand moose and have not got one. The moose are so random. Like whitetail, you can kind of get them. You can kind of understand how long it takes for whitetail. Like I'm in a groove where I usually don't have to kill more than 2000 to get a great one whitetail. Red deer, it's always been like three to 6,000 in most cases. Moose, they are so sporadic and weird. I've had some show up super fast and this one right here is just taking its sweet time. And I know a few people that have Killed like three or four moose in like 2,000 kills. And then others that have gone like 7,000 with no great one moose. Definitely feels like the great one moose are much more random in terms of how quickly the great one shows up. Uh, but anyway, guys, it's getting a bit late. I am going to probably go ahead and jump off. It just hit 9 p.m. And that means it's about an hour until my daughter will go to bed and gonna hop off and spend some time with her before then. So thank you all for being here. A fun time as always. Got a, a little bit over 100 moose down today. And uh, we're one step closer, hopefully, to getting another great one. But thank you for being here, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!